Bernie from Bags Unlimited, and today I'm talking all about how to rehab and archive your posters. I'm going to attack. There's this big black smudge. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. It's not coming off on my hands. So we're going to see if we can't attack that. The first thing I'm going to try to get rid of this um, dark spot on the poster is Abzerine. This is designed to remove dirt and grime from paper. Absarine's a putty. It's almost like modeling clay. Um, you gotta just dig into it a little bit. Pull some out. Looks like that. You wanna knead it and get it working. You wanna get it so that it's pliable. You need to work it a little bit in your hands until it's a little soft and pliable like that, okay? Then, you kind of use it like an eraser, but you want to try and go all in one direction. Keep turning it. And you want to keep folding sort of the dirt into it as you go. Now that I'm doing this, I'm seeing other parts of the poster that actually could maybe come a little bit cleaner. Let me show you. You remember that black smudge? This is what it looks like now. almost completely gone. That's the Absorine. The next product I want to show you which is great for cleaning paper and will go ahead and help to pick up some of the dirt that uh, the Absorine didn't finish is this dry cleaning pad. This is the same type of pad that architects and designers, draftsmen use. It's a cloth sack kind of coarsely woven. Inside the cloth, cloth sack is shredded rubber, the same stuff that they use for erasers. What you want to do, go ahead and knead the sack and you'll get this fine dusting of eraser. And then you just use the bag and start cleaning your poster. starting to come to life a little bit. It looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit brighter. For everything you've seen here and anything else you need to protect, organize, and store your posters, photographs, or any other paper, go to www.bagsunlimited.com. I'm Bernie. Thanks for watching.